Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of personal financial literacy, specifically financial institutions like banks and what they do, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So what does a bank do and what is its purpose? Well, banks do a lot of things for people. And probably one of the most important things that banks do is they accept deposits. And that means that if you have some money and you don't want it to stay in your house, you want it to stay safe and possibly do a little bit of work for you, you can go to the bank and you can open up an account. Now, there's uh, two main types of accounts that you can have at a bank. One would be a savings account. And the purpose of a savings account is, like it says, it's to save money. And so it earns a little bit of interest and you don't take money out that often. You just put money in, you save it for a rainy day, every once in a while you'll grab the money out, but you can't do too much with it. You, you just want to keep it there to keep it safe. A checking account is what a lot of adults have, and that's where you have money and you might deposit your paycheck in there, but money goes in and out all the time. You write checks, uh, you might have a debit card, uh, you might have direct deposit. Uh, this is the account that you use when you go to Walmart. You buy something and you pay with your card. You're pulling out of this checking account. So banks provide this service so that they hold our money for us and they keep it safe. And whenever we need it, and when we're paying for something on Amazon and we use a debit card, we go to Walmart, then it's pulling money from our account at that bank to pay for those items. Now, one thing that you might see somewhere or might hear are the initials FDIC and the FDIC is a is the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation and it keeps your money safe if for some reason your bank is robbed by a robber or the bank uh, goes out of business or the bank burns down your money is safe and this corporation will actually give you your money back up to hundred thousand dollars so that's one of the nice things about holding your money at the bank even though something crazy happens, your money isn't lost. This company will get you your money back. Another thing that banks do that is one of their main functions is they loan money. If you are wanting to buy something large, uh, let's say a car, uh, let's say a home, which is much larger, or even smaller things like you want to uh, pay for a vacation or maybe some furniture, then you don't have to have all the money. You can go to a bank and if you qualify, you can go out and you can purchase that and you can pay it off with a loan. So what happens is the bank gives the full amount of money to you so you can pay the person. So if you want to, uh, let's say we're going to buy a car, it's about $20,000. Well, you don't have $20,000. Most people don't. So you can go through a bank and you can get a loan for $20,000 and then you can pay the company off, the car company, so they're good. You take your car, you drive it home, and now you owe $20,000 to the bank. And then what they'll do is they'll set up monthly payments. And so maybe over four years, five years, up to seven years, you are paying out this car once a month so it makes it manageable most people can't spend twenty thousand dollars at one time to get a car but they can spend 400 500 bucks a month paying for a car payment same thing with a loan loan uh loans for homes are can be very big they could be anywhere from less than a hundred thousand to you know half a million dollars and so you get these uh big home loans and they're called mortgages um, and what that means is that the bank actually is the one that owns your home. Typically, they're about 30 years. It takes a long time to pay off for a house because it's so much more expensive than a car. And then by the end of it, you end up owning it as once you pay off your mortgage or your loan. The nice thing about these loans is that if you happen to get some extra money and you want to pay it off early, there's no penalty or there's no fee. So if you have a 30 year mortgage and you want to pay it off in 15 years, then you can save yourself a little bit of money and interest and there's no penalty against you.